Hey guys, in this video I'll be sharing with you new plans for immigration in the United Kingdom. Now this information is important to those who are currently living in the UK and also for those who are planning to move into the UK from 2023. So as to help you plan and also know what exactly is happening as regards immigration updates in the United Kingdom. So if you think this will interest you, don't go anywhere, keep watching till the end. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, my name is Daniel. I currently reside in the UK and I share videos around traveling abroad. So if you're looking for a place to get first-hand information on how to locate abroad, then trust me guys, you're in the right place. Click on the red subscribe button below to join the amazing growing family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for the love. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. If you're currently in the UK or you're planning to move to the UK in 2023, and it's been difficult getting accommodation then you want to check out amber students amber students has a platform that provides accommodation for international students um, close to their universities and also for those coming to the uk on skilled work visa they've got thousands of accommodation across major cities in the uk such as Birmingham, london manchester liverpool and many other cities in the United Kingdom and an amazing part about their offer is that you have the chance of paying your accommodation fee weekly or monthly depending on the option that works for you and another thing is that they've got amazing accommodation honestly ambassador has got the most beautiful accommodations I've seen since my stay in the United Kingdom so I want to check them out go to the description of this video to click on the link to check out Amber student and see the different accommodation offering they've got and select the one that best works for you so guys honestly if you struggle with accommodation in the UK Amber student is the plug go in the description of this video right now click on the link and start searching for your preferred accommodation in the United Kingdom. From time to time, the UK government make little changes in the immigration rules and this is basically for them to be able to manage the you know inflow or influx of people coming in into the UK. Now just of recent, the immigration minister mentioned that the United Kingdom is full that they've got loads of people coming in, you know, those coming in legally and those coming in illegally, especially those seeking asylum and the government spent millions of pounds every day to house asylum seekers so however the uk government have decided you know to make like little updates on immigration rules in the uk um, starting from the year 2023 and this pan across you know sponsorship job ability to travel and move into the uk and many other updates which i'll be sharing with you guys in this video now firstly um over 40,000 employers have already successfully been licensed sponsors many of uh, many of them small businesses uh, most sponsor license applications decided within um, less than eight weeks with an option to receive an expedited decision within 10 working days for a fee sponsor licenses are currently being processed within the service standards and additional reforms between now and 2024 will further reduce the time it takes to sponsor a higher or to, to, to hire a worker from overseas we remain uh, committed to reviewing our service standards and to uh, delivering improvements for customers and the truth is many organizations in the UK are now getting sponsorship and as you can see on the UK government website it takes about eight working it um, uh, it's work, uh, weeks for an employer to get um, you know sponsorship like to get license to sponsor overseas uh, employees now and also of course everything about UK has to do with money with an extra fee it can be reduced to 10 working days now it shows that over 40,000 employers in the UK are currently having sponsorship and this was sponsorship idea came up in August 2021 and they said in August 2021 the UK government published the sponsorship roadmap and this is basically to be able to you know um, fill in the gap created by Brexit so after the um, UK moved from the European Union um, there were quite a lot of job vacancies over 1.3 million job vacancies in the UK so in order for them to fill in this gap they brought the sponsorship roadmap which allows employers in the UK to employ overseas applicants to fill in some of those job uh, positions 
now which sets out our significant package to reform to the sponsor system up to 2024 now there's been rumors that by 2024 this old sponsorship um good map might be stopped but however still finger crossed there's no concrete evidence about that yet now so um this sort of will result in a system that is faster and simpler with the reduced administrative burden that that, that. now so as we got sponsor visa uh, there are some changes that will be happening in 2023 now in the early part of 2023 um to streamline the process for sponsors applicants and enable more efficient case working existing sponsors will have the ability to invite a worker to make their visa application once role details has been approved with the role information pre-populated then by the late um by late 2023 um managing the license to give us greater understanding about a sponsor and their sponsored worker and allowed for allow for quicker decision making the online management system for all sponsors to carry out post license activities will be improved e.g allowing sponsors to make changes such as adding users to their li uh, to their license now by early 2024 to make it easier for prospective sponsors to apply for a sponsor license automated data checks will be introduced this will reduce the opportunity for abuse reduce and simplify the evidence requirement placed on prospective sponsor and reduce casework processing time so this is basically some of the things they are planning to put into place to ensure that you know um the whole uh, visa sponsorship process is Swifting. Now, another change that is coming up um, in year 2023 as a gas UK immigration is the introduction of the permission to travel scheme. It means that you can't travel to the UK except you inform the government ahead. The Home Office needs to be aware of your plan to move into the UK, uh, of to travel into the UK. Now, uh, according to what's on the UK government website, it says that to further strengthen the UK border, we are introducing a permission to travel scheme. This will tell us more about those wanting to come here and prevent the arrival of those we already deem a threat we are working closely with ca uh, carriers across all modes of entry to the uk to make the process comprehensive and of benefits to all so you can't just come into the uk you can't make up more money and just decide to come into the uk you have to give like a, um, a prior notice of your arrival in the united kingdom now to further strengthen the uk border we are introducing Permission to travel scheme in 2023. Everyone wishing to travel to the UK will need permission in advance to travel. This will increase our knowledge about those seeking to come to the UK and prevent the arrival of those who are present and will present a threat. So instead of turning people away at the border or detaining them at a cost to taxpayer, this approach will allow us to stop people traveling to the UK in the first place. Now you know for people that get to the border and probably get arrested or detained for you know not being allowed to move into the UK, this will be avoided because it's costing the government a lot of money to even keep those people. As I said earlier in the video, even for asylum seekers, they spend millions of pounds to get them accommodation to stay while processing their papers. So if instead of going to those process, they will even tell, tell us you're coming to the UK first, then we'll tell you if it's okay for you to come or not so that we don't need to spend taxpayer money to detain you or whatsoever. Now another thing that will also be taking effect in 2023, now this has been on I think since last year and it's also going to, you know, a lot of um, shall I say updates is being made on this also in 2023 is the automation now if you're currently planning to okay there's something called the um, e-gates now I remember when I traveled to Paris a few uh, weeks ago I we discovered that some of us carrying Nigerian passports and some other you know inferior passports so to say <laughs> we had to go through a lot of you know the immigration um, officers you know a lot of stamping and all but there's, there's also another segment that has that there's like a, an e-gate whereby people just go there show their passports scan their passport and the door opens for them now this is optional in the uk for those that are british citizens however it is not optional for those who are on other visas like you know tier two visa tier four visa and all of those stuff now the government is planning something in 2023 they said from 2023 we intend to further expand the use of automation, including e-gates, to cohorts 
not currently able to use them. Focusing on individuals who already have immigration permission, e.g. people on indefinite leave to remain or student visa, while the numbers are not significant in border crossing volume times, these processing times are longer, so any automation of those calls will improve the flow at the border. So if you are currently on student visa or you have your high allowed, you can also go through the e-gate channel instead of going through the long queue. If, if, you, if, you, if you went through this old challenge when coming, I remember when I was first, the first time I was coming to this country, we spent hours on the queue trying to you know go through the immigration checks and all so in 23 they're planning to ensure that even those on student visa those with high allow can also go through the e gates that british citizens go through to avoid the long queue they're also planning to implement this uh this automation also in 2023 so these are some of the updates that are happening in 2023 as regards uk immigration and if you have any other additional information please state in the comment section if you find this video resourceful click on the like button and if you're coming across my channel for the very first time i don't know what you're waiting for click on the red subscribe button below to join the amazing growing family and for my returning subscribers thank you guys for the love thank you for being here i really do appreciate you guys so this will be the end of this video and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you